Welcome to CivilCAD Learning Solutions Help video. In this video, we'll go over our CCLS tools for Dry Utility BIM. So in this example project, I have a multifamily project here. In this following, I have a polyline that represent the center line control of our gas lines, electrical lines, and fiber. So if I go to our CCLS tools and then go click on Dry Utility BIM and select my polyline, here we have an option to follow a surface. I'm gonna follow the existing ground. And I have another surface here if it's outside that original GIS surface. The weeding factor controls how many vertices along that dry utility BIM it's gonna to add to follow that surface. So for example, if I put three foot of cover and the ground's going up and down, it's gonna add null structures to represent vertical bins. So the higher the number, the less vertical bins you have. Uh, the lower the number, more vertical bins you have, more accurate it will be, but you'll have a lot more bins. So this is something you will have to adjust and kind of figure out which one would be best, give you the best result for your model. So let's go through this process. If I go 1.5 feet down and on my first level, I'm going to select and create a new network. I'm going to do fiber. And please note that this app does not provide or give you pipe network parts or styles or layers and stuff. It's using your data in the CAD file. It does not bring anything in or that does not create. It does not import anything in from another third party. Uh, it's using strictly your data. So it's going to be your pipe network, your styles uh, and your labels. So uh, I'm going to select fiber and I'm going to create a new network and I'll call it F1 for fiber network one. And I'm going to select two, two pipes. This setting here allows the control if I want to create it to the left or the right of that polyline. And then we also have the separation distance between those two pipes. I've got a level two now. And let's just say this is going to be uh, 2.5 feet down. And we'll select that as electrical. I'll call the network name E-1. Click OK. And then I'll create maybe six conduits or five conduits for now. And maybe the two outer ones will be like a three inch and then also a three inch. Maybe the first one in the middle will be a one inch as an example here. Okay. And then I'll say it's going to be a little bit offset by one foot to the, uh, to the left of that control polyline. And then I'll go to level three. I'll check the box and this will be three foot, let's say 3.5 feet down. And this will represent my gas line. Give it a network name. D dash one. I'll click OK, and this will be maybe a six inch gas line. OK, and it can be existing. You just maybe you want to show an existing pipe uh, in the trench. So here we go. So we have uh, fiber, electrical, and we also have uh, gas. Our app will allow you to build up to 36 conduits uh, within this trench. And I'll click place. And on the right, you'll see it being modeled. Give it a couple more seconds and it will finish producing the model. And of course, I have it on like a three, 3D solid visual state right now. So that's why it's running a little bit slower. I could have put it on 2D frame, to produce a faster result. Okay, there we go. So you can see here's our model. Uh, let me put it to 2D frame so for better performance. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's our gas line. There's our two electrical lines. And then there is our fiber. I go look at this again. We all rotate it. that get a better look and angle of our pipes i'll render it so you can see it okay maybe do a uh, conceptual there we are you can see our conduits in there so it's just a quick way to uh create your dry utility uh, pipes with gravity pipes really quick and simple that way you can show it on other utility profiles thank you for watching and enjoy using our app